All right, the next skill we're looking at is PASG splint. And as always, each rescuer is going to have standard precautions in place. And we're also going to have to know what the patient's pulse and blood pressure is. So I'm going to have my rescuer first responder go ahead and start assessing that. This is an instance uh, where the patient needs a splint, not correction of hypoperfusion. So in most of these cases, we're going to combine the use of the mass suit, or PASG, as a, in essence an air splint, along with the long spine board. So this patient has already been assessed, and we've determined that this patient has, let's say, a pelvic fracture, and we're going to use both the mass and the long spine board in combination. So our second first responder is going to bring in a long spine board, and we're going to place it in close proximity to the patient. We're next going to get the PASG, or the mass suit, and we're going to lay it out flat with the Velcro undone. Once that's in place, we'll then get the patient onto the mass suit. And be sure that you have the mass suit positioned correctly on the long spine board so that you have to estimate where the patient is going to end up on the board. All right, what uh, blood pressure do we have? We have uh, systolic pressure of 110. Okay, 110. So when we're using this uh, suit as a splint, we're going to be careful not to increase the systolic pressure more than 10 points. So the maximum we'll be able to go on this patient is 120. There are two ways to get this trauma patient onto uh, this uh, mass suit and long spine board. We could use the log roll, which is probably uh, more uncomfortable for your patient, but we also have an a device called the scoot stretcher, which is basically a device that splits in half. <coughs> And we never want to lift heavy equipment over a patient if we can avoid it. So he's going to walk that around the patient. First of all, slide the patient to the edge. All right, let's make sure everything's aligned. Okay, on the count of three, let's lift the patient up onto the device. One, two, three. Uh, let's go down three inches. One, two, three. All right. Scoop has come off. All right, now we're going to get the pump, hook up the pump, and we're going to have someone continually monitoring the patient's blood pressure. All right, you start checking the blood pressure for me. All the valves are open. Alright, that seems nice and snug. What's the systolic? 
116. Okay, we're going to stop at 116. We're going to close all the valves, and we're going to take them off. Okay, it's important to remember a couple of things. If you have a trauma patient, you should really only use either a log roll or a scoop stretcher to get them onto the device, <coughs> and also never increase the systolic frequency. You'd also go ahead and strap your patient onto the long board just as usual. 